Hi Sagittarius, this is your September 11th through September 17th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the X spread. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have uh, the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Three of Wands clarified by the Ace of Wands, then we have the Emperor clarified by the Six of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Nine of Cups with Temperance and uh, the Hierophant, and uh, we also have the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, um, Aries Leo or, or another Sagittarius, we also have Taurus on the table. Well, it does feel like a fire sign <laughs> you're dealing with. Because the main spread on the left prior to the potential outcome is all fire. Technically, it's all fire, right? And the page of ones on the bottom of the deck is also a fire sign indicator. I believe you're dealing with the emperor right there in the middle, clarified by the six of ones. If this person is an Aries, it makes total sense, right? The emperor is an Aries card. And uh, Aries is also a fire sign, just like you. Um, but at the same time, uh, the Emperor is simply somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who knows what he or she wants. The Emperor could come through as the future spouse figure, future wife, or a future husband figure. Right? The Emperor definitely is about to pursue you. The Emperor is clarified by the Six of Wands, which is a card of uh, victory, success. It's a card of somebody who is, um, you know, sure of themselves. You know, the six of wands back in the day used to be called the proposal cards, by the way, Sagittarius. But this is them coming in with the intention to win you over. They're serious about you, right? And But we'd start off with the page of wands on the bottom of the deck. So somebody is uh, either reaching out to you, approaching you. If uh, the two of you get acquainted somewhere at some kind of an event or outside, you could be meeting on the, on the dating app, I don't know, and they're swiping in the correct direction, and so are you. Um, but uh, then we start off with the Wheel of Fortune, right? The first card that came out is a major iconic card. The Wheel of Fortune is actually one of your major iconic card, uh, Sagittarius. But at the same time, it's the start of a cycle, you know? So this person, when they do make their move, uh, perhaps on the second date or on the third date, um, you know, they will already know that you're the one. They will already know they want to get serious with you. Hence, that Wheel of Fortune right here uh, from the very beginning, all right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads, right? Then we have the Three of Wands clarified by the, by the Ace of Wands, another fire sign uh, indicator. The Three of Wands is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that there is no turning back. The Ace of Wands clarifying it is a card of a new beginning. It's kind of symbolic that the Ace of Wands showed up here, right? You see the person in the Three of Wands that the Ace of Wands is clarifying, right? There, there's three ones standing up, right? And the person is holding on to one of those ones. Also in the Six of Wands clarifying the Emperor, the, there is, the person is holding up a wand, right? The Ace of Wands if we if we uh, look at the extra ones, yeah, that's the one that uh, that person is holding on to, right? And no, all those cards we're just dealing with one person, right? The emperor, um, and uh, the rest is history. I don't see you resisting this. I don't see you turning this person down. Quite the opposite. I think you will think of this as a wish come true, <laughs> right? The first card in the potential outcome is the Nine of Cups, which is a card of a wish come true, wish granted. It's a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And I think you're just going to enjoy the way this person is approaching you, the way the person is courting you, whining and dining you, because... Uh, you know, perhaps you are tired of people who are wishy-washy, who say, oh, let's just play it by ear and see what happens. No. With this person, you'll know exactly what to expect because they'll tell you. Not only will they tell you, they will do things, right, to show you that they're serious about you. So with this person, yeah, you will know exactly where the two of you stand. Exactly. All right. So we also have temperance and uh, the Hierophant in the potential outcome. Temperance is uh, your major arcana card, just like the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> You're in your own potential outcome, right? Um, the Hierophant right next to the deck could be a Taurus, you know, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, something serious, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual card. So, yeah, again, this person is coming in, they're not going to take no for an answer, but at the same time, I think you're totally cool with it. I think you're going to be on board with this, because 
yeah, this person knows what, what he or she wants and they will tell you and they will do things for you, to prove it to you, to show it to you. Alright? Really happy for you, Sagittarius. Congratulations. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship that's better for you, we have uh, the Page of Swords, the Hermit, um, the Fool, uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It, it looks like you're going to be making a very serious move, but at the same time it's a risky move. Okay, but uh, the good news is that you're going to do your research. You're going to think about this first before you make this move. Okay, um, perhaps somebody offered you something and they've been waiting for your answer. The Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of waiting. Okay, um, but we start off with the uh, Page of Swords clarified by the Hermit. The Hermit could be a Virgo you're dealing with, but the Hermit is a card of a thinker, right? And the Page of Swords in this case, I believe. Uh, you doing your research. It could also be a message or some kind of a letter or notification coming your way and uh, you have to think about this. And with the Page of Swords, most likely it is you doing your research, reading feedback, uh, doing whatever it is that you need to do to make sure you're doing the correct thing, right? The Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. You know, <laughs> the Fool is a card of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. However, the Ace of Pentacles is something serious, something long-term, okay? So perhaps after you doing your research, you will still think it's a gamble in a way, but um, if it does pay off, it will pay off in a huge way for that Ace of Pentacles, right? So you could be literally investing money into something, or you could be purchasing something, thinking that um, in the long run it will only increase in price or something along those lines or you will benefit from it uh, in, the, in the long run. Um, Sagittarius, I hope this makes sense but that's what I see here. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Sagittarius this week. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also keep in mind we still have a whole bunch of planets in retrograde including our beloved Mercury. <laughs> so we got the two of swords, the five of cups, the seven of wands and the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck. You know I didn't want to bother clarifying anything because this is a big no, no. You can change your mind if you want to since there is no major arcana cards but uh, I don't see you even giving it a, a second thought. Right? The Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, that's you, uh, Sagittarius. And the, the three cards that actually came out, the Two of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Wands, there is no love here, quite the opposite. There is a lot of resistance, there is you still remembering what this person did to you, right? And uh, as a matter of fact, you're going to push them out, right? With the Seven of Wands right next to the deck, this is you saying, no, 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 thanks, but no thanks. I don't want this, <laughs> I don't want to deal with this ever again. So you can take it someplace else. So basically, yeah, whoever comes back from the past this week, Sagittarius, it's a no. It's a big no. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Sagittarius. This week we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Page of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Sun, and uh, the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Leo on the table. This is more of an advice, Sagittarius. All right, so if you experience some kind of an issue or difficulty this week with your work, with your business, finances, and uh, you need help or you need advice, you need assistance, don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to reach out and this King of Pentacles will help you out. Okay, you could be reaching out to this particular person or just, uh, you know, broadcasting. You can broadcast an SOS and uh, this King of Pentacles will come to your rescue or they will find someone for you or somebody will find this King of Pentacles for you. All right, the message here is don't be shy, reach out. All right, so yeah, let's talk about this real quick. Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a burden, it's a card of a difficulty, it's a card of a struggle, right? Uh, the Nine of Swords, the first card that came out, somebody here is really stressed out and by somebody, I mean you, right? Uh, because you're experiencing that Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Page of Wands, clarifying the Nine of Swords, this is you reaching out, right? That's a, a message or you start talking to people. And somehow this King of Pentacles will come along, right? The King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or it could be somebody who works for a financial institution, it could be somebody who is wealthy, right? Then the, the last card I came out is the Sun. <laughs> The Sun is uh, the happiest card in the deck. It's also a card of clarity. So this person 
uh, will somehow help you out. I hope this makes sense, Sagittarius. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Sagittarius. We have the Five of Swords, uh, clarified by the Nine of Swords. Then we have the Five of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups. Uh, we have the Four of Cups, and we have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Pentacles show back up. Um, this is somebody you already know, and somebody you had a major fallout with. You got into a major fight with them, right? And it feels like this person is like a repeat offender. Perhaps it wasn't the first time the two of you uh, called it quits. Whatever the nature of this connection used to be, right? So yeah, the Queen of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. You know, we start up with the Five of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Swords, right? And then it's immediately followed up by the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. So in the past, yeah, with the Five of Swords, you got into a major, major fight. And uh, it, it feels like it wasn't the first fight. Perhaps you kept giving this person second chance after second chance, right? Third chances, fourth chances. But this person kept screwing things up, kept getting into fights. It was just drama with this person all the time, things like that. So they're going to come back and apologize, right? Perhaps they're realizing that they've done a big mistake. And they've been going through it, right? They've been regretting it since the last fight. But I think you've had this proof. You've had it with this person. I don't think you're taking them back, at least not this week. Because the very last card I came out is the Four of Cups, which is a card of a rejection. And I think this is you rejecting this person. You may say, you know what, thanks for the apology, but, um, you know, I don't need this crap <laughs> in my life. I don't need this type of uh, person with such a behavior in my life. So at least for this week, you're turning them down. All right? So, yep, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing week.